Hello everyone. This video is continuation of previous video. In the previous video, we have discussed the position of tetrahedral voids in a HCP unit cell. And now in this video, we are going to discuss the position of octahedral voids in a HCP unit cell. So the octahedral void is observed in between six atoms of this particular arrangement. So this position is exactly an octahedral void. So these three atoms are of one layer and three atoms of other layer. The similar arrangement is observed in a HCP unit cell with three atoms of top layer and three atoms of middle layer. So there is an octahedral void in between them. Similarly, the other arrangement is found with the these three atoms and these three atoms. So these three atoms and these three atoms again form an octahedral void somewhere within the HCP unit cell like this. So the similar arrangement can be observed at six places within a HCP unit cell. So these two places, again, this side will find two HCP units, uh, two octahedral voids, and the other side we can observe two more octahedral voids. So the total number of Z effective of Z effective of a HCP unit cell is six and number of octahedral voids is equal to Z effective and that is also equal to six. And we have discussed already the number of tetrahedral voids, number of tetrahedral voids is actually double the Z effective two into Z effective that is well. So there are six octahedral voids found in a HCP unit cell. All of them are within the body of a HCP unit cell. Thank you for watching.